ladies and gentlemen, this is Bryant with SFOT Source, your premier unofficial guide to Six Flags Over Texas. We are here for another dining pass exclusive at Six Flags Over Texas. I'm with Hilda. <laughs> Hi. And uh, we decided to stop off at Oliver's Tavern, which serves cheesesteaks. They serve jalapeno, fried jalapeno pieces, I guess you would call them. Uh, bottle poppers, I think they call them. They serve fried pickles. They also serve beer on tap. This is also a place where you have the ability to fill up your own seasoned drink bottle, which is nice. So I'm going to show you guys the menu, and then we will jump right on over to our first impression. Folks, here's a look at the regular classic cheese steak, and it does come with tater tots. This is a meal on the dining pass here at Oliver's Tavern. They weren't super gratuitous on the meat, but you can see there are peppers, there is the beef, and there is cheese on top of that in a bun. And this is also the only place in the park you can get some tater tots. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Let's take a first bite of this classic cheese steak. I will say this, because it kind of skimped out on the inside, you can pick it right up and not have to eat the whole thing with a fork. You can see it is very moist down here. Yeah, use that word, moist. moist. It is hot. Hot dog. Tell us about the flavor. So once I got through the gallon of grease, <laughs> So I was kind of hoping that the moisture was, was actual moisture from the beef, but it's just grease, unfortunately. Um, the bread, very good, not hard, not dry. So the bun itself is very good. I do like the taste of the beef. I can't really say it's super seasoned, but they do have peppers and cheese in there, so that kind of helps offset that. So really, it's not too bad, just so super greasy. I do want to try the tater tots. It's the only place you can get tater tots park. So you can get tater tots by themselves. I, I'm sure you saw the menu. The tater tot is super solid. Nice crunch to it, fresh. And it has, it's, it has salt on it, so it's not bland. So awesome tater tots as always. Cheesesteak, other than the uh, grease factor, is also pretty, pretty good. y'all we just finished up our classic cheesesteak here at Oliver's Tavern in the tower section Six Flags Over Texas. Hilda what did you think? It was tasty a little greasy but um, I like the peppers in there that added a lot of flavor. Yeah so it's kind of an interesting situation of the meat being prepared really well as far as cooked and uh, tenderness and juiciness it just there's not a lot of flavor I guess uh, so I mean it tastes like meat, but there's not, you know, seasoning in there. Uh, the peppers and the cheese do offset that. Once we kind of cut through the grease, we, we kind of wiped it off with a paper towel. It became more enjoyable. I know I was critical of the amount of meat that was in the sandwich, but that actually worked to our advantage because it made it to where you could pick it up with your hands and eat it instead of having to use a fork and knife. So the what do you think of the tater tots? Delicious. They were well cooked. Yes, very good tater tots. This is the only only place in the park you can get tater tots. So, I mean, you can get those as a snack, as you probably saw on the menu. But one thing I want to say is there is an indoor and outdoor seating area here. The indoor area, it's, it's very small and limited. But there is more outdoor seating. It is all shaded. So it's not too bad. It's not super hot out here, but it's definitely warm. But the shade did help. So if you're looking for an indoor spot, if you can snag a table in here, this is a great place. It is going to start heating up here pretty quick. But I would definitely recommend this place for those of you uh, with a dining pass. It is a very unique 
unique food option. This is not a food option. You can get it every Six Flags Park for sure. So make sure you guys check it out. I want to know in the comments below if you've eaten here, what you've eaten, and uh, what you like the most. If you looked at the menu earlier in the video and there was something else you want us to try here and review, also let us know in the comments below. We thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you for our next Dining Pass exclusive here at Six Flags Over Texas.